everybody. Now I have been seeing the black beast on Facebook. Absolutely love it. It looks epic. It's, for me, when I see it, it looks like an absolute show car because it is that perfect. I mean, from the color to the engine, interior, it looks so good. I'm so happy that I found it because we're going to chat with the owner, Joe Carpenter, and we're going to talk about the F100 Grand Nationals as well. But first, let's look at the 56 F100. Joe, how are you today? How are you, you liking Run to the Sun? Uh, I like the Run to the Sun. Me, me, Myrtle Beach is beautiful. Today, it's a little windy, but uh, 70 degrees, 72 degrees is perfect. Many, many people, 3,500 cars and trucks out here today. Thousands of people from all over. It's a great place to be today. It's a great place to be, and I'm not surprised why you would be so happy. Beautiful 56. Now, this was a long build. Long build. It, it, it's been, a, I guess, a lifelong process. But we had a goal, and we stuck to the goal. And that's why you have an end, end result like this. The chassis was actually won in 1997 at the Super National uh, F100 show in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, at the Grand Hotel. Uh, it is a uh, it's a no limit engineering chassis. Um, it's got and a. How many years ago was that? Uh, we won the chassis in 1997. Right, and did, were you anticipating about using the chassis or building the truck or you just... It start, that started, to be honest with you, that started it. That's what it started. And that put the hunt out on uh, finding a, a truck, the proper body to put on it. And uh, we found that at Charlotte Motor Speedway and we're lucky to purchase that truck and from there it went. We had a vision, we kind of stuck to it. We always knew we wanted a Ford motor in it yep. and just a nice clean truck and we kind of felt like we, we wanted to know where to stop and not to go too far. You like your Ford, so you like your Ford trucks. This is not the only Ford that you have. You've got the 53 F100. I was lucky enough to ride um, in the back of the 53. On the cruise. On the cruise for the F100. And, and the uh, Big Blue will always lead the cruise. Big Blue. The Big Blue, that's what we call the 53 truck, and, and it will be there this year too. I love that cruise, even though when the day that we went on it, it was raining, it was Bad. storming. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was still such a fun cruise, going through Gatlinburg. Um, everybody had a great time, and the cruise happens every year. Every year, and we do it on Friday, uh, simply because if we did it on Saturday, it's so busy. So, so uh, many tourists come down, so we do it on Friday. We do it at four o'clock in the afternoon, so we do it when school is out, so we don't have uh, uh, the buses out on the road, and we just time it perfectly. This year we're gonna extend it a little bit longer. It's gonna be basically the same route, but a little bit longer. Um, to make it easier for everybody to keep up with yes, the crew. Very well organized. Um, you had the police yeah. escorts during the places where there is a lot of traffic. It was well done. Going through the mountains, you can see great scenery for the Grand Nationals F100 show happening in May. Before we get more to that, let's come back to the truck now. You started off with the chassis. Th then we bought basically the truck. The 56 big back window truck. We bought it at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And, and what it was the condition it was in? It was a project. It was in primer. Okay. No engine. Uh, it actually came with a stock chassis with a Velari front suspension, which we didn't want. We just we sold it to somebody. It came with a Windsor motor. This is actually a small block Ford uh, Ford Performance 427 Cobra motor. So it is not a big block 427. But it fits perfectly. It, it's Borla fuel injected, okay. but uh, it's a uh, 427 Ford Motorsport motor and uh, aluminum heads, now, Jen, and it's done very powerful. So well, the engine compartment, the way it's just very clean, and it's the right size motor for that space. It is. It is. It, it fits in there nicely. Um, we really hadn't had it out on the road that much. It's it's brand new. I mean, uh, we but it is complete. It's, it's it's tuned and everything's working on it. So it is officially it's finished. So after this show, we'll probably drive it a little bit. One of the things I wanted to ask you now, it's a very clean firewall, mm -hmm. but I'm also noticing a bit of a space here. Is the stuff underneath that? Is it covered? Um, that actually, you would normally wouldn't even notice that because you'd have a hood hinge here. Okay. See, there is no hood hinge. Yeah. Because it is a uh, flip 
hood. Your hood hinges are actually there. So everything under here, a 56 truck actually has a little more leg room than a 53, or as they call slant cab trucks. 53 to 56, this post is not straight. It's slanted, that's, that's where the term slant cab comes from. But those trucks don't have, this has a little more leg room. The dash is a little bit forward. But I mean, where are you hiding all your wires and stuff? Well, <laughs> if you know where to look, you can see them. <laughs> okay. I just thought your baby was all covered, you know? Yeah, I see. And in um, 56, they also would have had the hood be like this? The hood, the hood would have opened from the front, and your hood hinge would have been here. Okay, but you've changed it around. Yeah, but it's got a front hood hinge, and it dips that way. It's just a custom thing. And what about the front end? Well, it's, it, it's, it's, the, stock, it's the stock 56. I can... Uh, Actually, lower this for you. Yeah, that, that that's the stock front end. I just gently shut it. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do to latch it. And, and we're, we're proud of the fact that it has a V8 uh, engine in it. A lot of people will remove that for a, what they would describe a clean look, but we're proud of that V8. <laughs> we like that V8 emblem. It looks good because it goes with the nose. It goes with the front end. It, it just looks beautiful. And, we so well with the and as they say, what they say, when they say tuck the bumper, we move the bumper in. The stock bumper would have about three or four inches right here. Right. We brought it just in to make it just a little more, a little cleaner look. You know, Joe, you had a vision and it took you a long time, but one of the things that you said and I really liked was that you stuck to, you stuck to it. Right, it had a, had a goal. You had a goal and just had the steps and completed that goal. Doesn't matter how long it takes because one of the things that Gene Winfield said recently when I met him is... Right. When you are, I said, what is one of your tips for people who are starting projects, you know, people who want to attempt to start a project? <laughs> and he said, just stick to it. Stick, Doesn't matter. And he meant, he meant, he meant stick to a goal. Yeah. Uh, what, what, whatever your goal is. It could exactly. be just to complete it. It could be you have a vision in mind. But either way, and, and that should be a story of life, period. Have Whenever a goal. You start, finish it. They say only 1% of the population sets goals and writes them down. Well, I do write things down, so maybe I have one of them. There you go. You know what? I love the black. Um, yes. But it's a very dark black, but it's a very um, shiny black. It's single stage. It's not, it's not two stage. In other words, it's not a black base coat with a clear coat on it. Okay. And I was told this from an old school hot rod. The only way that you can get that kind of black and see single stage, because you don't have the clear coat on it, if it was damaged, it's easier to repair. And then you could buff it, but you only get that deep black from a seal. Yeah, and a clear coat black would look fine too. But anyway, that's what I was told. That's what we did, and I like the results. Well, it stands out. You know, I've seen other black cars as well today, but this one really just. Well, everybody wants to do like a black car, but in the sunlight it look blue or green or something. Nope. This is this is black, and that's all it wants to be, and that's all it's really trying to be. Really <laughs> cool. And you guys have named it well as well. The beast, because. When you look at the tail end of it, you really, that's where you see the beast. Okay. Because the tires are this wide. Well, before <laughs> but, we get to the back end, let's have a look in the interior. Okay, well, this is, believe it or not, this is probably my favorite part of the truck. This is so, so well finished, no door handles, it's all um, remote controlled, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a popper. A popper, yeah. That's beautiful. I love the color. It's not red, usually with black. You that's see right. Red that bright red. No, no, we, we wanted the same impression you get when you see them. A, a high dollar Mercedes Benz or European car, you don't, you don't see that bright red with the black. That's a... And um, custom dash, I'm guessing? Well, the dash is actually the stock dash. It's just been filled where you normally would have your headlight stuff here. That's just been filled and we put them all on this lower panel, which has been added. Just gives it a cleaner look. I don't know why I'm asking you. I'm in the 
and yes, it does have a lot more room than the 53. It does. It, it, the dash seems to be, the dash is more curved. When you're riding in it, you can feel the difference. But I like them both. I know, but it's okay to have a favorite for a little while. Now, yeah, that's right. That's right. I like them both. But uh, like I was saying, the beast end, and that's these these 12 inch wide wheels with the huge um, radial tires. I love what you've done with the fenders. You've brought it. A lot of times, people when you see it more um, out here, but right? Yours is actually going more towards well, the sea. Is that something custom? Yeah, almost everything has been touched and modified in some way. Like, see those running boards, the way that they fit, they wrap around the rear fender and the back fender. See, that's a custom thing. And then we added the stainless strips. We only put three on there because we wanted it, you know, not to look cluttered, to look clean. There's a lot of work that you've been put into this. Yeah, you know, a lot of thoughts. See, a lot of people are asking about this wood. Well, it's not wood. It's actually aluminum boards with a with a special um, top layer on it that that resembles wood, but it's um, you know it's resistant to sun. It won't fade, won't crack, won't splinter. Would it and get scratched? You could probably scratch it, but it's got a really high glass coat on it. But after all, nothing is going to go in that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm learning. I mean, I'm planning to do a pickup myself, but I will be putting things in okay. the bed. <laughs> There's a company, Smoky Road Rod Shop, right. made this bed floor. Okay. And that's one of the biggest questions I've had this weekend is about where did you get that? What is that? And they will be at the show, and this truck will actually be in their booth okay. at the Grand National F100 show, okay. showing off this beautiful bed. Now you've been managing the event, um, the Grand National, the 100 Grand Nationals, May, what is it, the May, May 18th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. That's right, and that's at the Leconte Center in Pigeon Forge. I'm going to be there because it marks 12 months since the channel got launched. Wonderful. 12 months of Rana's Radar, and it's um, it's been an absolutely phenomenal view, everyone. I've done so many shows. It's The channel's just blown up, and thank you to everybody, the subscribers and the followers, supporters on Facebook as well as YouTube. I'm going to be there, and we're going to see you guys. Now, that show has been going on for many years. It's been going on many years, and I, and I was actually at the very first one when I was 18 with my blue truck. With the blue truck. And I'm 63 now, so that's been around that show. My family's been involved in that in every way um, their whole lives. They actually learned how to swim in a swimming pool in Pigeon, at a hotel in Pigeon Forge. So, um, you know, we've been doing that a long time. We, we have many, many friends that come from uh, all over that I'm in many ways closer than my neighbors at home. So everybody looks forward to seeing their friends when they come to the show. It's a family-oriented event, and uh, but everybody loves their trucks. And everybody has their stories about their trucks. And it's a one. It really is different than a lot of other things. Yep. But uh, we enjoyed it, and uh, I appreciate the interview. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I love it. Absolutely awesome. Um, you've had some help with uh, the truck, or you've done it all yourself? No, I've got very good friends that I actually met through the show that did this truck that actually helped me get it here. I'm very fortunate I have, some, I have somewhat of a pit crew and they have an enclosed trailer and they brought that in their trailer and I followed them up with uh, the Bahama Mama over there. Well, so you my... told me that you were driving that and you know what, I would have loved to see yourself driving that Blue Boss wagon. We, we drove, I drove it into the, the, the showgrounds and yeah. it was really fun following uh, this truck, Brandon, who built this truck, Brandon and Junior, following it in and look, people looking at that truck and then making comments about the Volkswagen too. That was really cool. It was such a contrast, you know. They, they love the color, that color. That would look good on the F100, by the way. That would look good. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate this. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. See you at the show. Absolutely.